Welcome to the Now Tampa Bay, everyone. I'm Ashley Glass. And I'm Laura Harris. We've been watching protests on the University of Florida campus over the last few hours. These aerials you see right here capturing a lot of that tension in Gainesville right now as white nationalist Richard Spencer gives his speech. Yeah, a lot of people there, as you can see. He's still talking at this hour, and as we told you, the governor declared a state of emergency ahead of this event in hopes of avoiding what happened in Charlottesville, you'll remember, in August. At today's event, a man with a gun was actually arrested earlier. Deputies say he was reportedly an armed security guard hired by a media group but guns are not allowed on school property. And as Michael Paluska is in Gainesville right now, Michael, show us what you are seeing. Ashley, they have conglomerated here, the protesters, anti-fascist movement, different Facebook groups, Twitter groups, right here in the middle of the Phillips Center, which that is where Richard Spencer is talking right now. So we've seen a few people get escorted out of this building, and they've been apparently kicked out for speaking out during his speech. Now, all these people here seem pretty calm. It's a relaxed moment right now. The mood sort of shifts, but maybe 30, 45 minutes ago, uh, we'll show you the video. There was actually someone that came in here as an instigator, and that person had just Nazi paraphernalia all over him and he was instigating the group creating problems a whole group of people here surrounded him and they dr drug him dragged him probably 500 yards to okay that may not be the right video but we saw a guy get dragged punched in the face pulled out he was wearing Nazi gear and basically people here didn't want to stand for it now there were 700 tickets that were supposed to be given out Richard Spencer told us that those 700 tickets would be first come first serve basis but as we witnessed firsthand there were just people getting picked out of the crowd and told they couldn't go in for different reasons we spoke to one of them a short time ago uh, as soon as I came in the project Europa guy decided that this is a stick uh, I thought it was an ADA re um, required device for people who are disabled, you know, people who went to Iraq to actually fought for this country so that they have their First Amendment rights, which isn't First Amendment whenever it's hate and actually opposing the actually people around here. So Richard Spencer not sticking to what he told us in the news conference that everybody that wanted to get in to listen to his speech would be allowed in. There's a lot of people out here right now. We've seen a couple of instigators from rallies I've actually personally covered in Bradenton for the Confederate Monument stuff that are here as well that have been arrested in those venues. We saw that person a short time ago, but so far only one person has been dragged out of here. We'll have live reports as this continues to develop at 5 and 6 o'clock. We're live here in Gainesville. Michael Paluska, ABC Action News. Michael, thank you. And the Pasco County Sheriff's Office sent many of their deputies to Gainesville yesterday. They shared this picture with us of their deputies in Gainesville today. They tweeted some pictures out as well. Pinellas County deputies are also in Gainesville right now helping out.